percentage tariffs, uh, but it's all 15%, should all flow pretty much the same. Uh, and then they make everything from aluminum brazing alloy to welding materials to whatever. So you guys be using these sticks today, uh, and you can try them out. One of the things that uh, we that came out about six months ago was uh, Lucas know how in in factories what they do is they'll put little rings on uh, joints and that sort of thing. They'll put it in an oven. It'll melt the melt the melt the brazing alloy so somebody's not actually physically brazing in a factory. So at Copeland, if we go to the Williams factory, go to the Currier factory, that's how they do a lot of their brazing. So for years and years, uh, they try to come up with a a alloy or a system that's a little easier to braze with. So about 30 years ago, on the welding side, they came out with uh, with some rings that you would put on the outside of the plant. Can you bring that brown bag up here so I can kind of show how that works? So they came out with a ring that went on the outside, and it just didn't work very well. So uh, about six months ago, uh, they came out with this product. They're little brazing rings. They're the same 15% alloy that you would use in this stick. So essentially how they work is that's the wrong size. So essentially how they work is they go inside of that joint, then you put the pipe inside of it and you remain close, have close contact on that pipe, and then you just heat the pipe. You heat up the ring a little bit, then you heat the pipe, and with that capillary reaction it draws the ring out. So it's the exact amount of alloy you're going to need to braise that sort of ring. So much faster, probably about half the cost is using the stick, and particularly when you're new, uh, you know, you're going to waste a lot of that stick because you're new. That's just the way it goes. Plus, then you're going to end up with that little piece in your hand, and every, every tech that I talk to in front of their boss says, well, what I do is I attach that stick onto the next stick, and then I raise it up, but then when the boss goes to the roof, they see a bunch of little sticks because it got too hot and you couldn't hold it anymore. So, uh, so these are great uh, time, money, and ease of use saver. Uh, they come in like five, five or six different sizes, seven sizes. And they work really well. If you're just starting, uh, you'll really enjoy using those. And we've got a couple samples for you guys if you want to try them today or actually when you're out in the field. So, uh, so that's, that's awesome. Um, so moving on from Racing Alley, we also represent a company called Goss. And if you guys haven't bought your torch set, this is the one that we sell. There's other brands out there. Um, Harris, Uniwell, Turbo Torx, that sort of thing. Uh, a couple things we like about Goss. One of the things we look for when, as a rep company is Mike and I really believe in American made and something that we try to, when somebody says that's what we do, we really try to represent those products. It's, it's just kind of what, what we believe in. So uh, Goss is about 80% American made. There's not much that's 100% out there. They carry everything from uh, oxyacetylene tips to aerosetylene tips uh, down to, say, like a math gas tip. Okay, so they've got a uh, got an aerosetylene tip with a igniter on it. They got a math gas tip. They've got controllers just like this. One of the nice things about this one is instead of managing the the flow from down there, you can actually manage it from right up here with your thumb. So you don't have to take your hand off it if you want to. You know, change the change the temp, so that's kind of a nice feature. Really high, really well constructed. Um, and here's like an oxy tip that, that you can use. One of the nice things about it too is they also put venturis in the top here. So if you're using a gauze tip, you can't. And this is aerosetylene only. Uh, if you're using a uh, gauze tip, you can actually put your hand right up there by the top of that tip because that uh, venturi there is going to keep the heat away from that. So you less chance of burning yourself, so kind of a nice, nice feature there. And so they have igniters, and uh, this is one that a lot of guys have been using when we've shown them out in the shows. They like that two-sided, uh, and this is a this is an aerosetylene, they also make this for oxycetylene. But you can hold that around a TXV or something and direct the heat. Much easier to braise those tight, uh, those little tight areas. Uh, might be something that you guys look at on the next tip that you buy. And uh, one of the things, I, was, I'll, I talked a little bit about aerosetylene, and one of the reasons guys have been going to a little more aerosetylene versus oxy is it burns about half the temperature, which I'm sure you guys know. But you only have to carry one tank up to the top of the roof, so if you've got a situation where, you know, you don't want to carry the, both those tanks up to that top of the roof, just one tank is sometimes kind of nice to carry around. So, uh, so something to think about. Um, that's about all I've got, Mike.